The newest Five Nights at Freddy's game, Into the Pit, just got a brand new trailer and story page. The game is based on the short story of the same name, but has a lot of new things. This is a follow-up to my previous speculation video, I recommend you watch that as well. On the game's store page, there's a screenshot that shows what appears to be items from Fredbear's Family Diner. There's a big poster, what looks like a Fredbear plushie, and Golden Freddy, who in the Silver Eyes and Ultimate Custom Night was confirmed to be Fredbear. It's also worth noting that Golden Freddy actually has a suit here, confirming that he's not entirely some sort of ghost, he does have a physical body. Most notably though, there's an old Fredbear's poster from Security Breach, which is a nice bit of continuity with the rest of the series. There's also a calendar that says 1985, confirming that this isn't Fredbear since that closed in 1983. This is likely just a storage room where old items from Fredbear's are stored. However, with the significance of Fredbear's and Security Breach in Ruin, I think it's possible we could see Fredbear's in this game. In case you don't know how the ball pit works, the ball pit in this game doesn't actually travel back in time. The Fazbear's Frights epilogues explain that the ball pit is haunted by many spirits. By entering the ball pit, Oswald is reliving those spirits' memories, but not actually traveling back in time. The game's description mentions that we can uncover secrets that span decades, possibly meaning we can travel through major events in the series. If this is the case, then all these Fredbear items could be hinting at us being able to travel back to Fredbear's. As I stated earlier, the ball pit is based on the memories of spirits, and the crying child died at Fredbear's. It's also implied in the books that Charlie Emily, also known as the puppet, was killed at Fredbear's. So it's possible that we could travel through their memories and experience Fredbear's. The game's description also mentions saving children from the past, so maybe like in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, we'll have to put these spirits to rest. In the Fazbear's Frights epilogues, Jay gives the souls in the ball pit their happiest day, so we know it's possible to set these souls free. Maybe we'll have to go back to Fredbear's and make things right for the crying child and Charlie. The game's plot could even revolve around giving spirits across the Five Nights at Freddy's series their happiest day. If we did go back to Fredbear's, it'd be cool if we got to interact with characters like Charlie, Henry, the crying child, Michael Afton, and Willie Mafton. Regardless of if we go to Fredbear's or not, it seems very clear that we need to save all these spirits and help them move on, and I'm really excited to see how that plays out. If you like Five Nights at Freddy's, we have more videos of this series on our channel. We also do a lot of bendy videos if you're interested in that series. And we have a variety of content coming out on our channel, subscribe to make sure you don't miss that. Thanks for watching, and check out some of our other videos.